just discuss how I want to go through this. Oh my god. Sorry, I just shit myself. The, uh, All right, welcome back. Really We're back to round two. Uh, <clears throat> same op as before, same teams. They've just flipped sides now. Um, so Lish will be commanding the INS side. And uh, Kermica will be on the U.S. side. Right, so Again, so my name so is Mighty. Um, I'm and here and with Big Yes. Discuss what we want to do here. Big Yes. Uh, and this is uh, this is our Wednesday uh, op, our One Life event uh, for squad ops. Um, if you don't know, uh, today's event, the first Wednesday of each month, is actually uh, open for everyone to join. Um, normally, we require a quick, like, easy, free, basic so training course. Um, takes about an hour that you can sign up for on the website. But um, oh yeah, you, you guys just saw the trailer for both. I think probably both basic and AWS. The basic is the only one that's required for our ops. Um, so if you like what you see, um, make sure to attend the the basic course. It takes like an hour, if that. Um, it's pretty fun, um, and then you can join us uh, on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, but if you're not interested yet, or you don't know, uh, the first Wednesday of the month op is open to everyone. So go uh, register when that comes up. Uh, so since the teams are flipped, I want to go over the uh, squad leaders one more time. It, squad 1 INS is Odessa, Squad 2 Hammered Hebrew, Squad 3 SM Pure Paradise, Squad 4 is Satan, and again, leading the troops to victory, hopefully, is uh, Lish. And for uh, US, we got Best Pony, Kirkley, Shattered Ritual, Nasty Nate, and of course, Comic Cut. Of Main man course. The man. <clears throat> So um, right now what's going to happen is they're going to get stuff set um, with fire teams, and kits, and all the logistics stuff. Um, and then they're going to go to a brief. And as soon as you know what the brief, will kick it off. Um, last round, the U.S. looked like they were going to lose. <laughs> Am I right? The whole round. And then all of a sudden at the end, they just get like five sweet kills and make it up to the top of the radio tower. Um, Odessa let them all around, flanked, perfect. And they ended up taking that round fairly convincingly, actually, for this this op. Usually is really close, so pleased to see that, definitely. Watching out for mines along the north. And they'll suppress from the north as well. If squad two ever feels a let up in the pressure, they're going to bound in from that pause. But for the most part, they're going to cause distraction and try to maximize casualty. Um, but the main assault's happening on the south. Okay, so I want two squads on the south pushing left to right, underneath uh, squad one's base of fire. Um, that's pretty simple. It's a pretty straightforward assault. We're going to bound in uh, the main danger area that we're pretty much going to be you know worried about our ieds set on the mortar marks and then as we push out of uh mod Zai, we're gonna get funneled a little bit because that's that's a one strip from mod Zai. so as we come out of mod Zai, squads three and four you guys got to get out there and then push across fast spread spread out and push fast across the river okay once you get across the river to the mortar marks squad one can have you covered for the majority of the rest of the way but you got to watch out for ieds and hmg fire coming out of that funnel okay but as soon as you get to the mortar marks, it's just, you just go bound in left and right, three four, three four, three four, with one covering the entire time, and then two's doing their own. Um, two's independent on the north. Cop. Yep. Any questions? Uh, do I look I that distressed? All right. Sounds good. Squad I have an is going question. To yeah. What's up? Uh, so, like, uh, are we expecting contact near that funnel, considering how close it is to radio tower? Yeah. Expect contact. Or are we going to be as hauling balls? To this stage as soon as we get to that staging point, just expect contact everywhere. What's north okay. Or east, north to east. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, as soon as both squads get to their staging points, you should be expecting contact. Like, within a hunt. Wait, what's the funnel, though? The funnel. The funnel right here. Are you here. kidding me? The funnel on the end. A mark. downward facing Look triangle. Right <laughs> okay, okay. Right. The bottleneck. So as the U.S. platoon brief is breaking up, uh, I've got a special uh, POV for you. The Muff Bandit himself. Normally he's doing our job, man. Normally he's the one up here commentating. <laughs> taking but... the day off. Yeah. We're, 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 we're vying for the job. 
native English speaker. I don't really have <laughs> that. Like, my yeah. vocab is not that. Yeah, I, again, we, we got like, I want to, we have about um, boat, right? 13 or 14 yeah, cameras yeah, tonight. And that's all provided by the community. That's all provided just by people um, setting their stuff up and to spend the time to get that stuff working. Obviously, Penn, who's behind the scenes and everything, he set, <clears throat> put so much, so many hours into making the stream so awesome. Um, but um, yeah, so this is all community, um, 100%. Uh, just, just people wanting to make cool content. So big thanks to everyone providing camera. Big thanks to Penn and everyone who shows up um, to do all that stuff. Makes it a lot of fun. Definitely. So I think, if my eyes do not deceive me, um, Lish is going to start his platoon brief pretty soon. Everyone seems to be roughly forming up into fire teams. Usually that's what happens is everyone gets all nice and pretty in lines. So squad leads can uh, tell that everyone knows exactly who they need to be um, with in the ops. So once he kicks that off, we'll go ahead and give him the audio. But um, <laughs> hopefully this round is as interesting as the last one. Last one was high drama. So much drama. And hopefully and the U.S. doesn't flip their Humvee right out of the gate this time. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah. The or the Lodgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Lodgy that took a tumble. Uh, so hopefully that goes a little better. So let's go. Uh, let's go and listen to Lish. He's giving a quick little brief to his platoon. To plan here, other than kind of areas of responsibility and what we're going to do, how we're going to react to things. Um, so I mean, unless you're completely clueless, we're defending Radio Tower from U.S. Same with what's just happened, but we're on the other side. Um, oh, yeah, quick a shout out to Tedish um, for whatever happened last time. That was <laughs> fucking Jesus. He got Christ. a title kill. Amazing. Amazing. I don't understand it. He was bad. I want to see the replay. Spraying at him like Jesus Christ. Clap, clap. Because I can't be bothered to clap. Two guys is yeah. terrible. Anyway, <laughs> so just breaking up into areas of responsibility here. Um, Hebrew squad is going to be central on Radio Tower. Having a couple of posts, we're limited to two HMGs, well, two Dishkas and two SPGs on the FOB. Uh, we've got a Vic repair station that we're allowed to put down with the RD, so we're going to go ham with that. Don't be shy uh, of using that, even if it's a bit inaccurate, just keep hitting it till it is, because, you know, we've got a Vic repair station. Uh, he's also going to be running Logi. I want to see someone who isn't going to crash it. That would be ideal. Thank you. <laughs> Shots not, fired. Not, Server. Uh, Shots fired. Shots fired. Not, not uh, I'm sorry, boys. Shots any particular individuals who are going to be going through um, Vic, Vic uh, SOTT again or anything. But um, <laughs> anyway. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go sign up right now. You have lost your certification, sir. <laughs> anyway, so Hebrew Squad Central on Radio Tower. Odessa squad is going to be kind of handling north. Um, squad 3, SMPU Paradise, generally holding around a bad kind of uh, west and northwest. And um, squad 4, Satan, on the south. Depending on where we see contact, we're going to use our scouts to. Jesus. <laughs> Do you hear that? It, it's yeah. the yes. fucking nope. porta potty. It's been sounds. distracting me. Yeah, it's the porta potty. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shit. <laughs> Somebody ate some bad tacos last night. Stream, anyway, anyway, comms, 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 comms. Um, so depending on where we see guys coming in, we'll just rotate that around, centralizing on radio tower. Um, as we take contact, if we get majorly fucked up on one direction, people will kind of fall the uh, group beside it. The uh, squad beside whoever's just got fucked up will move to support there. The squad furthest away will move up to Radio Tower to support on the actual point. And that's generally how things are going to go. Uh, Karma's obnoxiously saying US ready a couple minutes because I'm taking forever. So let's uh, go ahead and break this out. <laughs> Let him wait, break his momentum. <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so <clears throat> as we kind of heard, um, this is pretty similar to what happened last round. Um, basically, if you take a look at this map, um, they're going to make a nice arc all around Ali Abad, um, pretty much 180 degrees. And this is a good general strategy is if you start taking a lot of fire, it's good to return some fire. And then if you're getting really beat up, 
you smoke in front, pull back. Some people from the opposite direction will come and reinforce your position. So it's kind of like it's similar to what what happened last round, except um, hopefully the command won't die and we can they can execute um, a little cleaner. Um, but that's the general idea: is to move people quickly from um, areas of responsibility to reinforce um, and make sure that uh, no one's getting too pressured. Yeah, so in case you guys uh, missed it earlier, um, the general plan of action is that Karma's going to be pushing most of the platoon down to the south of uh, of the map here, over towards Malakabad in this compound. So that's that's very similar to what they did last time. Uh, it's unclear to me whether they're going to push a fire team up to the north, like they did with the Dess's squad. I know that worked pretty well, but it'll be interesting having the whole platoon down here to the south. And you can really overwhelm any positions across the river. And uh, looking at it now, probably these buildings will probably One, be three, a four, we're pretty serious area of the contest, and we're live now. We're la v v v v v. <laughs> so um, it almost looks like it's a mirror match from last round, <laughs> honestly. For what it sounds like, we'll see how they actually execute. But um, sounds like it's similar to last round and this round just teams flipped personnel flipped yeah definitely yeah I'm, I'm i'm so curious to see uh i think last round would have gone very different if boosted turbo I remember he pretty much passed in between two groups of of ins that's kind of funny if he sees them i think they dial in Artie and totally destroy them and i'm curious to see if that'll happen this time with their scouts, hopefully they get a nice read on it um, and put that RD to really good use. That's that counter strike logic right there. <laughs> right? So, indeed, most of the platoons are dropping, going down, moving through the draws. Carmen is telling the status site. Let's just sprint as much as we can. See in the sunbeams through the trees. Coming. Such a beautiful game. Yeah, Got one fire team moving along the main river. Looks like. So I see um, man. I see someone uh, in chat asking what the objective of this op is. No, uh, good question. I didn't actually go over it second round. Thank you for reminding me. Um, the objective of this op is exactly what I'm looking at right here. Um. Uh, the main point on Radio Tower, um, there is a FOB up here. Uh, the goal is to kill the FOB and take control of Radio Tower for the U.S. If you're the insurgents, you want to defend it. It's a pretty simple premise that ends up being incredibly complicated because this map is so big with so many hills. Um, <clears throat> one little wrench in the plan um, is that normally we don't allow vehicles to resupply. However, um, if you're... Taking a look at what I'm looking at, um, you can see that there is a repair station here, actually. Um, and the uh, rocket techie, uh, the arty techie, can resupply as long as there's points there. Um, so as long as the supply lines aren't cut, um, they'll be working that arty, hopefully, to good use to slow the U.S. down. But ultimately, the goal is to capture the radio tower <clears throat> if you're the U.S. or defend it if you're the INS. Um, it's it sounds basic, but it's a lot harder on this map than, than you'd think. I drink hey, one. Boosted. Like, I drink one boosted. So it looks like the Humvee is just shuttling guys up towards the car cut. Got Kirkley in command here of the squad. Start clearing guys. It's telling them to clear the buildings over here. It's always a good idea. Make sure there's no sneaky insurgents hiding on your flank. <laughs> one of my favorite... I, I don't know if you've played Operation Crazy Horse Big. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's on this map, and up at the northwestern by Sunni Kel, there's one spot that the FOB can meet, and everyone else, everything else is east, and it's interesting to see uh, uh, that that's a similar op where, you, you're, where you're trying to take a FOB, but there's one spot that's super close to Maine up there, and sometimes... 
people try to ferry like you were saying they try to ferry people over and then just get blown up immediately by the mm-hmm. by the, the insurgents at that spot and that goes pretty bad um it doesn't look like they're they're they, they're able to pull anything like that now um because they don't have any vix yeah, other than the arty and the uh the Lodgy, but <clears throat> you never know. Sometimes they can n- do a nice rush and get those people as they're dropping off at the bridge. So as I suspected, at least a fire team is positioned in these buildings way to the south. Case, Got Satan, who I believe uh, is the squad leader, way up on the ridge, over. doing overwatch. Copy. It's a nice position to direct your troops from. My guess is he's got the, his other fire team up a little bit north of him, so you can quickly swing them down to take contact. So that'll be it'll be interesting, because I'm pretty sure most of the platoon is going to be walking up through this area, unless something changes. You can kind of see um, that arc that I was talking about earlier, um, <clears throat> where they're arcing around Aliabad. You can see that they're doing a pretty damn good job of it. So the yeah, whole point of this plan is if they take contact up north, or if they take contact south, or something like that, um, then they're able to split off reinforcements um, from different pockets here and reinforce um, quickly because they're going in <clears throat> they're going in a shorter line than if they're all in a straight line so they'd have to come all the way around but now they're gonna go quick distance quick reinforcements very flexible defense from them Lish is calling for Operation Artie. They may have eyes on US actually. I'm not entirely hmm. sure where the US is, but they're they're asking about oh there I see him over the, um in the northwest. Um oh, Lish is calling for live Artie, so I think they're getting ready to launch something. That's interesting. I wonder if he'll switch any of his forces over to face that squad on the north. Maybe. <clears throat> He's searching for Lachi too. I think they're a little bit Baffled as to where the so the uh, armor is, <laughs> right? No, no logy that yet, though. Looks like that Humvee is up there in Jakarkot. I did not see that. So it did cross with them in the end. It did cross to uh, Jakar. <laughs> um, yeah. So they've got a squad up at Jakar, and then the other. Three squads are moving south over towards Malakabad still. So it's actually very similar to that other uh, other game there. The only difference is Quest Crusty Squad is not moving down the main river. They've got their Kirkley's entire squad up here in the north. So we'll see how that plays out. Squad TV advised three and four and this, commander this, reaching the staging. This strategy that the um INS is going for can only be beaten by, or not only be beaten, but the main way it can be beaten is if um, if they go quick and fast and punch through a line, right? Because they're pretty spread out, right? They're pretty all over the place. And if the, if <clears throat> the um, U.S. were to go quickly, uh, they wouldn't be able to react in time because there's no vehicles to go really to do any kind of ferrying. Um, that's really hard or very nerve-wracking to do as a command on this map um so i can see why it doesn't happen very much but um that's the best way to beat this strategy is to go quick um and to yeah just try to punch a hole through and then hold that open and then there's your key to victory um, but when you go slow it's uh, a little more of a struggle <laughs> to crack this this uh this one open Don't have eyes so on this is interesting just, they've got a couple guys out here in lockabod so this will probably be the first right, source of contact right. is in these buildings. Got Space Monkey and Gaming Brennan. Are these scouts? Doesn't look like it. One's an AR, one's a rifleman. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. 
see how that contact goes. Pony, pony, this command. Get ready the to U.S. not over. terribly far away. Probably about a click. I wonder if they'll move down the road or just over the hills. You know what I need? Fucking thermals, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No, that can't be broken. <laughs> hey, Karma, can I get glass real quick? What? Can I get a. Binox. Binox. 170 on the hill. Uh, I want to say about 100 meters. Alright, so <clears throat> we can kind of see the approach. The U.S. approach, um, or on the south side, um, Brandon and Space Monkey, like you said, are down here. It's going to be super key that they <clears throat> either spot them and get out of there, or they at least uh, stay alive long enough to call out what they're seeing and how many they're seeing. Um, they're in a really good spot down here, uh, but they're really their their main goal is to just give info, and they're probably going to die doing it, but. It's the most valuable thing you can do uh, in these ops. Be better than getting a bunch of kills and it's like that. Number one, don't flip the logi. Number two, give good info. Okay, write that down. <laughs> don't flip the logi. <laughs> you, uh, the southwest side of uh, Majai, over. Yeah, so Stray Dog here has got his fire team moving up down the road. They're clearing these buildings out uh, one by not, one. Roger, too hard now, Close too to hard. Two, at this point in time, you're free. I'm giving you full discretion on any orders. It'll be interesting when they get up to Malika Bod if they'll clear that. Uh, I know some teams have just run by by that, not expecting uh, contact. Yeah, four, but I know Stray Dog runs the type ship. One. Yeah, I'm actually... So, Space Monkey is <clears throat> a lat kit. Uh, so I think they're looking to ambush the convoy because there's no, like you mentioned before, there's no scouts down here, so it's gonna be harder for them to see. But um, they've got the lag. Yeah, they've got the lag kit, which is so menacing. <laughs> Especially. All right, looks like we're hopping on board with Hyper Evo, who's pushing over the hill um, towards Brennan, towards Space Monkey. I'm going for a listen with him. Okay, because I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm feeling it, dude. Someone's on this. They're on the north side of this hill, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'll watch our six. Thank you. Hey, check out the compound to the uh, 114. I don't see anything in there. Okay, just making sure. Just let me know when you guys are moving, so I have not left alone. <laughs> Let's not let him know. I got you. <laughs> Arms here. To be advised, Scouting the lock bog. Got his little bodyguard here. Hyper Evo, though. Remick. Solid copy. Remick with the classic grenade launcher. Oh shit. That's <laughs> his favorite weapon. <laughs> the super weapon. Where, 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 where? You can't just. Go A, hey, keep at four mini seven. Oh, that's fucking far out there. I mean, it sound like, I mean, it sound like like they were like right next to us. I'm pretty sure they have eyes on us, dude. I'm pretty sure. Pretty damn. Oh, three. Three stand by for. Four. You're calling contacts clear across Copy. the room. Uh, do you want me to move into Where they are going to be. Negative, Nate. Wait, wait for All right, so oh, Satan is calling out Fox, Strat 10, Keypad 7. Not exactly right. <laughs> it's a little far behind. Um, but um, he's pretty close. He's got good comms, good spots on the uh, U.S. Uh, pushing up here. Oh, they, they see the Lodgy. They spotted the Lodgy southwest. I think they want to try to drop some arty on that position while hmm. they're building still. 
which is the best thing you can do, you uh, can do. Finish, you can engage everyone. Oh fuck, sorry. That's it. That's really when when uh, any firebase is most vulnerable is when they can't fire back. <laughs> so I think that they've spotted um, everyone up on this hill and they want to adjust and get the RD dropping. Slowly up that road where we place that fall. I wonder if Satan sees that logic trick way out there. He does. In fact, he just said. Have you heard just anything reported, on comms, Muddy? Copy four, keep moving, three hold. Yeah, he just Start reported um, that he spots this. the Lodgy and he sees it moving up. So they definitely know it's there. They know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Infantry shot go five, keep So Brennan and Space Monkey are going to be aware now that forces are coming in. Undoubtedly. Yeah. I'm trying to say I'm blind. Yep. <laughs> Trust issue thing, don't worry. Got Muff here at the head of the column. Where else would he there. be? Classic. Right. No one him will probably get um, both kills with headshots, too. Forward to pass so that we can uh, move on. All right, let's move into Mudzai. What I personally like about that Good weapon project, is the foregrip on the front. It really keeps your recoil down. We follow the left side so that's why I tend to rock it. Yeah, stand, stand the Plus, the, the iron sight is just... Just can't be more gangster than that, man. Gotta yeah. be honest. You're still okay to act independently. Uh, South assault team, here's a plan. So the push is coming in. in. Yeah, be ready for some uh, fire. They, they spotted the lodge. Ground's coming in. And they spotted the push. Down. Yep. You're, hold fire. you're laying some Let's shots down. 50 cows, uh, 50 cows taking shots at us. Roger, one, engage, one, engage, one, engage. You need Cut. to press three, four now. Phil in the blank is in the beaten zone. I wonder if he'll get out of there. Probably. Yeah. Copy. Off, oh, still at the head of the column. No. Negative. Copy. Nope. Moving. Right side of three. Ooh, close frag. Ooh. That was really yeah, it was. Yeah, I saw Seems like came in. Like Here's uh, Muff. I wonder if Muff's gonna bite it early. Oh yeah, he does. Ouch. Ouch. Through the doorway. That's a tough way to go. Uh, Mod's eyes occupied. I just lost Muff. Probably Great. Take take Mod. <laughs> we're, we're gonna Shadow's to calling out contact in the Mlock area. They're gonna definitely clear this out. <laughs> Muff was that happens when Muff gets, Muff gets dropped. He goes down. We were talking him up too. <laughs> <laughs> runs around a corner, immediately dead. Yeah, That's not what you want to see. So, I don't want to lose track on the guys up north. Are they still north? Uh, big... Uh, I think so. Looks like they're moving in slowly. We got boosted here, though. Boosted. Oh, yeah, they uh, are. Lone Scout way at the beginning earlier. He's going to move in. Oh, here it comes. Boosted goes down. Looks like Brennan took a shot. He's going to have the bandage. It's taken out by Phil and Blank. Tried to push, he's bleeding. There's an enemy vehicle South, uh, close to my, close to my uh, spot in the north. Gulf 4. They are engaging up north with this Humvee. <clears throat> Slowing it down. Hmm, Darwin and Soap are coming in to assist Space Monkey. Came in from across the river. Looks like they're going to come into contact with Phil in the blank pretty soon. Let's see how this engagement goes. Phil in the blank traps Soap. Harmon immediately goes prone. He's gonna run off. He doesn't want any of that. Uh, boy, you got here in the north. I think Phil in the blank saw him. The Definitely knows he's there. At least two times infantry, uh, direct south of uh, squad three. Captain. Yo, uh, Russian pulling the. I'll tell you what, <clears throat> the INS comms have been really good in this game. The whole time. Accurate, too. Accurate calls. Hey, both north and south. I got a guy, 308. Noble is fine on the building with nobody in it. Yeah, squad four, get across the river now. 
Oh, I see Boosted's body. To be fair, it was the building that, that I and a soldier was in. One, make sure you have enough ammunition to keep up that suppression for a while. I've Space been... Monkey's just holding Captain. tight in the compound. It's not doing anything too crazy. Well, it's just wise. Just stay cautious. Yeah, Squad 1, you're outside of Rocket. Uh, already range, over. I wonder if Shadow Ritual Squad will have the discipline to clear every building in this area. <laughs> Crazy Russians moving in. He's gonna come into contact with Space Monkey pretty soon. He and Demlamas. Is Noble Six alive? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, Demlamas is dead. Third person drops him. Hey, four, you see red smoke to your north on the, on the hill? Pop down, clear. Clear, the building's clear. Are you talking to four? Uh, I assume the golf line is burning hot and breached. So, Copy four. this is the push <coughs> with the Humvee <coughs> up north. Actually, Tedish and Immune are totally unnoticed. They let all the U.S. slip right by them. I imagine they're gonna try to kill this. Um, they're gonna try to kill Nordic out of the the gunner huh. uh, seat of the Humvee, and try to make a move that way. I mean, they're Tedish is right next to five or six U.S. soldiers. Throws a grenade out, and oh, wounds a couple. Didn't take any of them out though. Tedish is playing this. He's playing this so well. They both are. Back at Malacca Bod, Shadow called up the air was clear. I guess he doesn't know Darman's up there in the field, line prone. Filling the blank season though, he's Darman's dead. Tedish is lighting up this Humvee. He's still alive, he gets one. There's a driver gunner, there's a three people in the Humvee right now. Tedish just killed all the stragglers around it. He's been called out, but they did such a good job. I wonder if Yoon sees the Humvee, tries to go for the headshot on the gunner. There's no one in there. This... This, this is quality from Tedish and Immune. Really slowing down. Oh, he shoots and misses? Oh, he missed. He tagged. He tagged someone in the gunner seat. Didn't actually get the kill. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Karma's taking rounds from. Whose squad is that? Let's get taps. Oh, that was close. All right, one Pure is Barrett Ice and his FTL. Hey, this guy with the grenade. I can hit it. I can hit it. Carmen, can I take the shot? Enemies, enemies! Drops in from right to right, uh, left to right, from the car, 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 going to the field. Yeah, uh, yeah. Zion S are pulling back. Trying to move back up the river. By the red smoke? No, no, white smoke. The building, zero, three, zero. I don't see it. I don't see him. All right. Mark the building, zero, three, zero. With smoke. That compound. Command, this is squad four. We are ready to push. We're just holding for now. Copy four. Bound by fire team now. Towards uh, the town. One, keep hitting those uh, fucking HMG and SPG positions. Alright, you ready? You ready? I'm gonna put- 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 I'm gonna put
Um, didn't actually get kills and uh, or that many kills. Got a couple, um, oh, but now they're kind of up by themselves a little bit. Man, Rummick took down a insurgent with the GL. That was impressive. That was like 300 meters away. <laughs> Damaged the other two pretty badly. That was an impressive shot. That's what you get when you practice. And you take AWS, foot kids. Take SOTT Advanced Weapon Systems. You'll hit 300 meter GLs, guarantee. Or your money back. So the U.S. set up some firing positions in the same area last as they did last time. They're putting rounds down range on the media tower. Shinya rounds the dishkas. Just gets pegged north as well. He's down. We're gonna need Audi engaging the contacts to our north. We need to get an accurate grid on that. We got one for this body of small set compound. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Or he's dead, Rebel. I still need some of those heals. Contact direct, uh, northeast at zero. Seven two in that compound. He moved beyond the wall. Silver, can you make it to me? Yep, come on. Heal me up, baby. Crazy yeah, Russian and Shadow Ritual are pushing up. They're within 100 meters of that other fire team. Make me pretty again. I believe the fire team leader went down in that GL. Our squad leader. So that's unfortunate. down as well so i don't know meanwhile straight straight west of the hill the main approach to radio, to radio tower um, we got a bunch of dismounted ex humvee riders um that humvee took a, a a beating um and they've gotten out and they're trying to heal up a little bit um, but they're kind of stuck um in in, in uh, these buildings and that humvee is a pretty big it's not blown up but it is in the open it's a pretty big loss to to um not have it in fact it looks like actually now that i'm looking at it, it looks like it's stuck i think they got stuck over a over a curb so or over a uh wall so um unlucky uh we have vehicles going down to environment two out of two rounds tonight <laughs> Okay. That's a that's a big loss though. That's that's a really important, especially that final push. That Humvee can be like the final factor um, to push the U.S. over the top. So, so back down here, the U.S. is pushing up the mountain in force. There is a fire team down here, but they're not really covering any sectors outside of their compound. They could really just see this entire forest moving up the mountain, but they're just not looking. Which is unfortunate. I think they even have a scout here, but he's just looking in the wrong direction. He's looking at the emplacements, not the infantry moving up the hill. Gangrel actually gets killed by the Silverman. So they know that there's at least one or more U.S. in, in these buildings. The, the people that were in the Humvee... They're trying to sniff them out. They know they're there, but Silverman actually gets a nice kill um, onto Gangrel. Carpy is sn trying to find the other, um, All right, throw us the, the second man over there, with not a lot of success since he's kind of by himself. It's it's pretty tough to uh, it's pretty tough to to uh, make it work just solo. So the lodge is coming back around. Looks like this fire team's gonna set up an ambush for it. I wonder if they'll be able to take it down. Drew Meister in the lodge. We got Polcat here leading the fire team. Put some rounds into it. They shot him. It's not dead yet. RPG as well. Still not dead though. <laughs> it's a tank. That's impressive. Fulfilled his last lodge run. Rocket truck <laughs> bombarding that fire team. <laughs> Close range. Got sober pud, injured fatal donuts. You got looks like you got two there. Karma the Humvee's also stuck, so don't expect us. 
quality already. Over here, the the Humvee crew, <clears throat> what's left of it at least, is off Watch the bushes. There might and be heading uh, southwest of Radio Tower. Probably going to go regroup, hey, uh, I would imagine. Um, I'm going to check um, my... We got, we got contacts to our I don't know if they have comms with everyone else. Russian goes down. Shadows in between two elements. One from the north coming back in, and the one at Radio Terror. If he stays there, he's gonna be in for a bad day. More is approaching him. They don't seem to see each other. I think Shadow's looking at that 50. Possibly. Oh, I thought you were hurt. Bird person yeah, joins them. One, two, four. All squads, all squads. Suffocate radio. Push, push, push. Copy. So, really quick, now that we're all off this craziness, let's take a little bit of an upper uh, stock of what's happening right now. We got pretty much the south and east occupied by U.S., and then on and on the hill and north of the hill as uh, occupied by INS. Um, a lot of INS forces not even on the radio tower hill, and they're not really doing much. Um, so be, hopefully that they start pulling back here and reinforcing. This is going to go pretty much like I did last round um, with uh, INS getting out maneuvered. So Shadow got hit by Mori. Fired too early, drew their attention his way. Bird person is looking for Mori. You got contacts, like, mixed in with you. I don't think he saw him. More U.S. moving in from the other flank. We do this to me, rival. Every time. Best pony. We're doing charge. Should like Karma and Hyper? Like Both. Looks like they're sweeping around the west side. <laughs> so, interesting development. We get comms saying who's in command right now, so that doesn't bode well for INS. <laughs> Thank, I think the comms are a little bit quiet. Yep. The US are up by eight kills as well. Yeah, this is... This is much more decisive than last round. Well, two go down for the US. I think that was Taps that gets both. Great shooting from him, although he's getting zoned in on. Karma's gonna come on taps. Drops him. This is what happened last round, man. Krusty might the say, I oh, yep. Krusty gets Ooh. Karma. The INS. Immune kills Hyper Evo. INS is too slow. To, uh, too slow to, to react, and they're getting pushed off the point. Man, Immune, Krusty just doing some work here on the northern flank. Remix can see Immune, though, taking down. This is all U.S. This is 100% U.S. Everyone collapse to this fucking thing. We're gonna we're gonna Alamo our asses here. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's just like the other time. This is key. This is why communication is so important. So as you can see, um, U.S. were successful in eliminating the the fob. So now the objective is for INS to get back up there and retake that point. So by the letter of the law, yeah, um, U.S. probably wins. Um, but we always play these rounds out to completion <clears throat> till everyone's gone because um, it gets pretty exciting at the end. Ooh, the RPG comes out, knocks down. What was that a Humvee up there? No, it was it was the it was a Techie. I think he was shooting aiming at something and actually hit the Techie. Maybe not the best so option. Des is, but... is moving in. Looks like her squad's gonna engage with Jay Remick. Tedish and I think Magzinic got Jay Remick there. I know they did some work last time, especially Tedish. Tedish got eight kills. That was some good work. But uh, she's moving in from the north with her, what's left of her squad. Des is creeping forward. I wonder if she'll see Devastator. Probably not. Sightless looking the wrong way. 
with his RPG. Oh, he passes right behind. Looks like this bird person. Oh, right behind him. He's going to hear him now, though. Uh oh. This could go really bad. Server error comes in. Actually takes out. Got him. Got him. Takes out bird person with that. Just taking a quick uh, shot to the shoulder. Not a big deal. It's lucky uh, that bird person wasn't looking right at both of them, or they'd both be dead. Wow, this has really turned around. It's only a one kill game now. Again, it looks like one team is about to lose, and then heroics start to happen. And uh, you never know. You never. That's where we let it play out. You never know until it's over. Yep. Indeed. Right, I was fearing for your life. <laughs> so we got one person. Looks like uh, inside the red crate, and we got donuts coming up behind everyone. And that's it. That's it for the U.S. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Sniper inside. But you're not to clear him out. They tried to put rounds to the container. I think they missed. He gets dropped. Oh man, Sniper oh, almost went outside. Oh, that's, that's not the thing to do. Here comes Donuts from the back oh, he's side too. Guess is right outside. Oh, drops him through the container. Kid uses the bullet pen. This is the last person alive. It's all donuts the fatal donuts. Spraying. He can do it. Oh boy. Almost gets tightish, not quite. So I gotta kill what four four guys then another Oh no. Is that it? Oh no, we still got another fire team out here to the south. Yeah, they're cool taking breeze. their they're taking their sweet time. All so right, these so we guys thought that, were not. We thought the that was the last. Yeah, yeah we thought, thought he was the last. A fire team out here. Yeah, they're they're just hanging out over here. They're taking their sweet time. Maybe they're going for a dip in the river or something. Yeah, they were just seeing the sights, and so I think they're pushing up. And I think there might be more. Right? Is there more people over here? We got some INS chilling out in that compound. Still. Klein is. I know they moved a little bit, but they're oriented towards the river, not the main area. They don't have a lot of time. I mean. I know we play it out, but if they take too long and don't make a move here, um, that could be it. I am surprised that they didn't push up sooner. I'm surprised. Because now, now U.S. has control. Or, yeah. Yeah. Um, or INS, excuse me, has control again. Um, and U.S. had the advantage and took forever <clears throat> to move their last guys up. And uh, this is kind of paying the price of that. Yep, Mighty and Truth are still looking the wrong way. Um, you can definitely see these guys moving up the hill again, but they're just not looking over here. Yeah. yeah. And Marty, still... do we still have some guys on those emplacements far out there? Yeah, there's just one person up there. Just one guy. Oh, man. That's a long run. They're calling him out. Uh, yeah, it's very unusual how... U.S. is so spread out like this. Generally, you see them sticking together, you know, bounding, covering each other. Right now, they're just very spread out, not super coordinated since their leadership went down. But, of course, it's difficult it's once you lose uh, command comms. Like, I don't know who's on that emplacement, but I'm pretty sure he's on an FTL. So, no. It'll be interesting yeah, to see how straight up plays this. I think this is going to be... You guys much up. I'm gonna cover you. The end. Copy yeah, you'd think. Normally, I mean, yeah. you think, what would the difference be if Watch the U.S. had, had three, these three more guns, or four more, and then in that push, and that hold up? I mean, you know, we never know how it would have gone. This is why it's important to have those comms. Um, 
uh, I'm, yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't uh, kind of ditch off the emplacements or why, right as they were coming up the hill. Because at that point, the emplacements are pretty much useless anyway. You're firing on friendlies half the time, well, which is obviously not ideal. So, yeah, I mean, this is still a pretty close game. 3v4 up at the radio tower, since that other fire team is just back by the river. Yeah. Someone's I definitely. Fire, Tedish and someone. Uh, it's Mags. Mags is just taking pot shots at the uh, fire base. Oh, I see. Definitely did not expect yeah. them to delay their push that long, though. I do like this. Stray Dog is just hanging back in the rear with his AR, ready to provide support. He's got a nice firing angle here on either flanks if any insurgents try to push. Might even see Odessa rounding the flank. So, Maybe Big, have, have you been one of the last people in an op before? Yeah, once or twice. It's pretty stressful, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I would not want to be, I mean, I say I would not want to be, but everyone wants to be one of the last people. It's a uh, heart's pumping, blood racing, for sure, adrenaline going. Oh, yeah. Um, That's what I love comes, about this. Yeah. Definitely a different feeling from squad. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's just, you'll, you'll never find any excitement like being the last couple people in an op especially after you spent so much time getting to where you are you really want to, don't want to give it up stray dogs giving some orders to cool breeze it's fun to hold i think Silas is probably just listening right now just listening see if you can hear footsteps i would expect him to communicate this and to hear some calls here pretty soon yeah the us is kind of walking into an ins trap as soon as they take contact by Silas, they're probably going to fold in on their flanks, Tedish and Odessa. It'll be interesting if Jazz sees Tedish before Tedish sees Jazz. I haven't heard any communication that they know that the U.S. is here, though. Oh, they yeah. saw them cross the river, and that's about it. So Jazz is coming out with Tedish. Tedish sees him. Kills uh, Jazz. Stand by. Definitely know they're there now. Tedish shoots a shot at Stray Dog. Stray Dog oh, Silas fire. knows. Oh! He actually gets he gets killed by his covering fire. Cool Breeze actually <laughs> gets the kill before Silas can get the kill uh, on his buddy. That was, I mean, it ended up his buddy's still down, but that was a really, really solid covering fire right there. Definitely. It actually led to another kill, so quality, but here's the problem is that Oh no, Cool Breeze goes down. Like I say, the problem is that there's no US left and there's one person in the emplacement. I'm not sure if they're going to try to get him to push up or if they're going to call the game. Sometimes he is pretty far, shall we say. You can decline <laughs> and. Yeah, just decline. I'll buy and yeah. send some. Oh, yeah, there and there, there you go. There, he's still on the emplacement. Still letting him have They're shooting back at him. Whew. What a game. Well, that was a great game. Well played both sides. Very close an, until the end. Yeah, it was another back and forth, man. You just don't know until until the GG comes over. You just have no idea. I think it's going to really go gotta, one way. But. Really got to thank the squad leaders and the FTLs. I know the FTLs don't get as much credit as they should. But they're <laughs> definitely an integral part of the leadership, especially when the squad leaders go down. Yes, thank you to every everyone everyone who's here, um, all the squad leads, all of our cameras. Um, there was like thirteen or fourteen cameras. Um, thanks to Penn for for putting all this stuff together. He's he's the one who's powering all these streams. Um, big, thank you so much for co-casting with me. Oh yeah, it was a great time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, and just thanks for everyone for watching on Twitch. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun seeing people, you know, enjoy the ops and even if they're not in them, they're enjoying them in different ways. So, um, want to remind everyone that that was, um, our Wednesday app. We do ops like one life ops, uh, on Wednesdays and Saturdays, twice on Saturday. Um, to get into our ops, you do have to complete a quick, uh, basic training course. You can find all the scheduled times for that on the website, which is squadops.gg. Um, the, this op was a, a bit uh, unique in that it was actually open to so the first Wednesday op of the month 
um, is an open op. Anyone can register, no basic required. Um, although I would recommend it, helps everyone get on the same page and it's a lot of fun. So head to our website, be sure to sign up for the tra any training that's interest that interests you. Stop by the Discord, say hi. Um, we're always having fun playing squad on our servers or other games, just hanging out. Um, Again, thank thank you all for, for watching, um, and uh, and a special thanks to everyone who makes the stream possible. Um, it, it's been a lot of fun.